Isn't it the biggest frustration about tonight that you didn't win the match earlier than you did? Because you had a lot of opportunities. Yeah, I think so. That we, it's not, but not the frustration. In the end, we won. But we could have made our life much easier when you scored three times in the first 30 minutes because I think we started very good, very proactive, very dynamic, very brave. And yeah, we created a lot of chances in that, in that moment. And yeah, we could have uh, go up with two or three goals. Eric, was that the reaction and the response you wanted and needed from Newcastle? Yeah, last week we played <laughs> three games. The two times we played good, I would say against Everton, very good. And then one bad performance. But you see this team is in a good direction, right? is um, very good progressing. And so yeah, we are pleased with that. And I know sometimes you have bad performance, but then still uh, you can get a result. That is the next step we have to make uh, when you when you stick together, when you have the right attitude, when you when you fight it, and even in bad performances, hey, you have to collect points. So yeah, that's going to be the next step. But you see um, how we play, the style, so dominating the opponent in and out of possession. That is the way I want to play, and so I was very pleased, and for me it was very enjoyable uh, how the team today played. Uh, James, uh, you know. Three points off Manchester City. What does that say to you about a season that's felt really like it's been in crisis from the start? There's now three points between you and the Premier It's the crisis? But it's felt like that. Ah, not for us. Uh, we are in a journey. Uh, we, we keep calm. Uh, we look into the process where we know where we have to build. Uh, we know where we have to build on. Um, so, yeah, um, as I say, we're going in the right direction. We don't get distracted from uh, uh, criticism around us. But we are ourselves, we are very critical on ourselves. Uh, we know we are, uh, we are not quick, satisfied and happy. Uh, we always want to do better. And if we do the things not good, we want to put things right. And we want to keep going in this process. And we want to keep going in this progress. Uh, because we know the season is long. We have to we have to improve a lot if we want to be successful. But this this team is capable to be successful. Jeremy, you often follow really good performers like this with not not the best. What's the key to sort of being consistent? If you're playing like this every game, how can you do that? Yeah, but that is always make sure you are a team. You are cooperating. And you are so when you have good cooperation, that's about communication, and you have a good organisation. Uh, in and out of possession and then you are going to play well because we have brilliant players who can make the difference and uh, I'm very pleased with the, the number of chances we created and I think it was very enjoyable uh, for all of us, for our fans as well uh, to, to watch us playing and uh, that is what we want every game but I know it's not possible uh, because we are not robots but if you play less good or you play poor then you still have to win. Samuel. Anthony seems to have, his performance level over the last week seems to have really improved. What's what's the key to that? As coming out of the team, has is, is that, is that motivated him? I think uh, I think it's a very good opinion. I agree. I think he is he's progressing as the team is progressing. But yeah, uh, this is the attitude, what 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 he needs, and what he has to contribute to the team, and. Yeah, he's, he was very bright, um, very, I think, uh, he got very good positions on the ball. He make also very good decisions and, yeah, he's stepping up and uh, and he has to build on from this. Uh, Carl. Mr. Tanag, uh, at full time, Scott McTominay said that you've been doing light sessions, which has been keeping the players fresh. Is this in something new to help you with all the games you have to play in the summer? No, it's not new. <laughs> we, when we have such a condensed program, we always uh, train very light. Uh, to when you uh, start the game, you want that the players are fresh, and because um, I think we have a very good physical foundation, and this team is capable of playing very dynamic. Um, 
but yeah, they have to start fresh. So we do uh, everything to get them fresh by very good recovery. Uh, they have to do, to, they have to take responsibility in matters of sleep and and food, and then they are ready uh, to play every third game and to perform on their best if their attitude is right. And we know that is our job. Um, for me as a manager, with my coaches and the players, uh, to get that right. And uh, then I know this, this team is very capable to play very good football. Two goals from Scott McTominay today, five in the Premier League. He's playing a lot more advanced than he has in previous seasons. Is this something you're trying to bring up more of him, to, to play less deep and to score more goals? Absolutely. Uh, he, has, he has the skills. And when he is arriving there, and he has the skills to arrive there in the right moment, and he, has, he has the smell, um, and then he has a very good finish. But um, yeah, talking about dynamics, yeah, sometimes he is deep, and sometimes he, he is lower. But um, yeah, in our our tactics, in our planning, in our game plan, is often that we want him um, to be high. So the team has to to make it happen that he can come high, that he can come into positions where he's around uh, a striker and then he can make a run. And as I said, he has a very good smell uh, when to arrive and then he has also a very good finish. And then the team has to make sure that we bring the ball with him. Is that hard to make sure the team is making sure he's there and not make sure the extra space in midfield is exploited? No, that is, that is I say that is the, the plan. And it's not, not hard, that is it's a matter of organization. So, we have to get the players in the right positions, and that is uh, that is our job uh, to to get him. Uh, but that means that other players have to play deeper, uh, but also bring them uh, in their best skills. Uh, and it's all about that to get the individuals in the right positions on the pitch, and that you make use um, from their skills and the attributes. Thank you. Last question, Richard. Hi, Eric. That's your first win over a team in the top half of the Premier League. How much did you feel the team needed a win like that against the top level of player and how much belief can that give you for the rest of the season? Uh, that every win uh, uh, gives you belief, but we have a strong belief. Oh, we have a strong belief uh, we can be successful. Uh, but yeah, if you beat uh, uh, teams, then the belief will go stronger. And that is going to happen, but you have to deserve it by yourself. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I'm pleased today with the performance and it will strengthen the team and uh, that we can build on from this and it will strengthen the team and uh, that we can be very successful.